Hi everyone, this is Rachel with her risk management final project. Um, first, I'll explain what risk management is. Risk management classifies, evaluates, and controls risk to an organization and their assets. Um, the government manages risk management to make sure that they're being properly reported on and managed correctly. Managing risk comes with a lot of benefits for organizations, especially in healthcare facilities. Risk management protects the patient and the employees who work in these facilities, and it protects um, patients' health records and things like that. Um, for this project, we had to talk about an experience that Dr. X had. Dr. X went to visit one of his previous patients who was transferred to a nursing facility. Um, he sent electric, electronic files to the facility, but he also went to the facility to check up on the patient and he accessed that facility with just a picture ID. He was also able to access the patient's files with no problem from the staff at the nursing facility. Um, while he was at the facility, he used an offshore and outsourced transcription service to dictate. Afterwards, he went home and he used his home computer to um, complete his files and complete his assessment. And I just put that there was a possibility that the doctor's computer could be stolen, that, and that's one of the risks that I found. And I'll discuss the other risks on the next slide. This is my risk priority table that I made, and it has the risk that I found for the scenarios, and the risk include electronically transmitting files, and this means that the files could be lost during transmission. Um, the doctor had easy access, so accessing the facility was just a picture, with just a picture ID was a risk that I found. Um, outsource and offshore transcription services was a risk. Usage of home computer to access patient files is another one. And um, like I mentioned in the previous slide, the doctor's home computer could be stolen. Um, electronically transmitting files, I found that this might be a risk because um, the files could be lost. They could pro probably be sent over fax and anyone could just pick up the fax if no one's looking. Or the files could be sent to the wrong email address, things like that. So I gave that um, a risk priority rating of high, and on a scale of one to five, I gave it a score of five. Um, anyone could access the facility like Dr. X did. All he had to do was show a picture ID, so it's possible that anyone could walk in and have a lab coat on and then have a fake ID. So I gave this a risk um, priority rating of high and also a score of five. Um, outsourced and offshore transcription services. These have their own risks. Sometimes um, they're used because they're cheaper, and sometimes because they're cheaper, they have cheaper quality of work, and cheaper quality of work leads to more mistakes. And people also use these transcription services because um, they're quicker, but the quicker the work gets done, sometimes the more mistakes there are. So I gave this a rating of a high risk priority um, high again with a rating of five. Um, usage of home computer to access files. These, this should not occur. You should never use your home computer to access patient files because your computer may not be as strong as the hospitals. So I gave this a medium risk priority with a rating of four on a scale of one to five. And then the doctor's home computer being stolen. This is a possibility. So I gave this, um, a risk priority rating of a medium and a number rating of four. Um, mitigation responses to each of these risks. For risk number one, to ensure that the information is being sent to the right place, fax or email. Um, ensure that the fax machine and computers are only staff accessible. I also noted in my report that maybe the fax machine could be somewhere where the receptionist has eyes on it at all time. For example, I'm a secretary and the fax machine and printer is right behind me. And my desk is also boxed off from the visitors. So no strangers can get behind me to access the fax machine and just 
grab documents if they wanted. For risk number two, for um, easy accessibility, I stated that security guards and security video cameras should be installed just to keep an eye out for strangers, making sure they're not going anywhere they're not supposed to, making sure that they're not accessing staff or authorized personnel areas and things like that. Also rounding on visitors, making sure that um, they're complying with visiting hours and things like that. For risk number three, um, we need to make sure that transcription services are reputable and transcriptionists are certified and experienced to reduce um, errors in transcriptions. And um, errors could be anything like the wrong dosage, like moving a decimal point over to change a dosage, a dosage dramatically, or even misspelling a prescription. Um, risk number four and five, Reduce the use of home computers due to lack of security software. I actually think that home computers should not be used by doctors. Um, if they're going to do work, they should do it at a facility or they should have a laptop that was given to them by IT that is secure. Um, ethics, privacy, and confidentiality. Most of these risks, if they do occur, break the HIPAA law. And as we learn, this law protects patients' medical records and other information from misuse and hackers. Um, sometimes even a patient's trust and relationship with their doctor, doctor can be broken. For example, if I found out that my doctor was doing work on his home computer and this caused a breach in his computer, I would be highly upset because I know that he's not supposed to be doing work at home, but sometimes, you know, work follows you home, but um, this can be prevented. Even if a breach occurs, such as a hacker um, accessing files, it is still the facility's fault because they're responsible for keeping the patient and the patient's information safe. And this is just my risk impact chart, which is also part of my risk analysis plan that you'll see in my report. So I found the duration of a risk to be averaged around 147 days. It takes a facility about 147 days to find out about the risk and then um, 65 days to mitigate that risk. So I, give, I gave risk number one uh, impact score of high would have a high impact on the facility, a medium um, chance of occurring and a priority rating of high like you saw in my previous chart. Um, risk number two was electronically transmitting files. Risk number two, um, I gave it a high impact score with a high probability of occurring and then a high priority score. And this risk, again, was about um, the ease of access to the facility. Risk number three was about the transcription services being outsourced. And I gave this a high impact if it occurred. Um, medium probability of occurring with a high poor priority rating. Risk number four and five was the doctor's home um, computer being used to access files. They both have a high impact on the facility if they occur. Um, a medium probability of occurring because not all doctors use their home computers at, um, to access patient files. And I gave this medium priority. And that's the end of my presentation. Here are my citations. I really hope that you enjoyed my presentation and also enjoy reading my report. Thank you so much.